Uh, Nigel Collins, N I G E L uh, C. I had to think about it. C O double L I N S. <laughs> All right, cool. All right, Kelly. So go ahead and shoot away. So how long have you been playing with Fly of the Concords? Uh, about mm, eight or nine years, yeah. on and off. On Most and off? mostly in New Zealand until this US tour. This is the first time I've been in the States with them. Oh really? So yeah. This is the first time you've been to California ever, or just on tour? Second time. Second time. First time on tour. First time at the Greek. Oh cool, oh, cool. Yeah. So how long are you guys in town for here? Uh, we're only here one day, and then we're heading Good. to San Francisco for two shows tomorrow night, and then that's the end of our of our run. And then you guys going back to shooting the series? Uh, well, <laughs> I, don't, I don't know if there's going to be another series at this stage because um, Jermaine has a little boy now, and there's, there's a lot of family stuff going on and they're kind of going their separate ways and having a bit of a break. Got it. Because it's been, you know, real hard work, I think, making those two series. Yeah. Uh, and after this tour is finished, they're going to have a, a holiday. <laughs> How long ago did they throw the idea out to you about joining them on tour and playing with them live? Uh, I was going to come over last year, but it didn't work out for because of work visas. But um, we, we first started playing about 2001. They had a band of people. There's about seven of us who used to play with them. So they had, you know, a drum kit, bass, keys, trumpet, sax, the whole works. Um, I'm the only one who seems to have survived from that band at the moment, I think, because the, they play everything anyway, but they don't play the cello, and the cello kind of plugs in, can, can be a bass instrument or it can be a melody instrument, and it also looks kind of a bit sort of classical, so I think that's why I'm here. And then did you, were you forced into playing cello when you were young? No, I was just got really lucky. I went to a school where they uh, paid for kids to have orchestral instrument lessons when I was 10. So I just, it was just totally random and I'm really grateful for it now, Yeah. obviously. Yeah, you know they're cutting <laughs> uh, a lot of music here in the US. Oh really? Putting uh, the money towards better education and, and part of that is cutting out music programs. Oh, you can't, you can't get music. Music is better education. Yeah. Music, well, for, not for everyone maybe, but for kids who are into it, who have a feel for it, you've got you to gotta fund it. Absolutely. That's, that's part of living and breathing, you know, if you, if you play music, then um, yeah, you've got you to do it. So what will happen after this, after you guys wrap this show, for you? Uh, I'm staying on for two weeks just to look around San Francisco and New York. And are you going to drive or are you going to fly? Probably fly. Yeah. No cross country? Limited. Oh. Cross America? <laughs> I'd love to. If I could find a nice classic car to do it in, I'd love to. Yeah. But just because of time, I'm going to fly and then back to New Zealand, back to the winter. Have you been to San Francisco before? Yeah, years ago. Yeah, I'm looking forward to being there again, though. Yeah. 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 Cool. Yeah. Anything else you want to uh, Last question, if, if you don't mind, Nigel. Uh, what's been your favorite song to play live with the guys? <laughs> oh. In particular tour? Oh, your tough. Favorite, your favorite song in particular? Tough question. Show? I really like playing. And why? I like playing Bus Driver a lot because it's one that people don't necessarily know so much, and it's it's a funny song, but it's it's more of a story song and it's also quite heartfelt and it captures something about New Zealanders which I really identify with and it and we I get to sing in that one so do you like to sing I, oh yeah I'm a singer oh, okay. I, I, I trained as an opera singer when I was younger can you, uh, and then stopped I can have a go <laughs> it's been a while um, hang on. Oh, suave fanciulla, o dolce viso, dimmi te circonfuso a balunare. Great! <laughs> Just don't, don't um, if you're Italian, I apologise for that, <laughs> that ama amazing, amazing pigeon Italian that I just sang in. Uh-oh, did you just cut them out? <laughs> Oh, I've got no idea what I said. <laughs> could have, I could have called someone a, a lemon fish. That was great. <laughs> uh, um, yeah.